Rocket Girl's Galaxy Squad Adventure, Chapter 17, Wukong's Mistake. Dr. Odd stared at Wukong. You're a monkey! Roxy Coslin and Wukong were back on Groon. Wukong puffed out his chest. I'm not just a monkey. I'm Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. I once defeated Heaven's entire army. Fascinating, Dr. Odd said. But can you make yourself tiny like Rocket Girl said? That's what we need you to do. I do that all the time, Wukong said. Watch this. He muttered a spell and became the size of a fly. He zipped into Dr. Odd's ear. Hey, get out of there! Roxy and Coslin giggled. <laughs> Bunny! Him. Bippo said. Wukong flew back out and returned to his normal size. Dr. Odd frowned at him. Then he explained the mission. You must go inside Meltron and destroy the controller. He described the controller. Wukong nodded. I'm ready. Let's go. Soon, they were all walking toward the underground entrance. That was a neat trick, Wukong. Coslin said. I could do cool stuff too, like walk through walls. Wukong shrugged. I could probably do that. How about this? Coslin held up her hand and shot a laser. Kaboom! The hull of an old spaceship exploded. Not bad. Wukong pulled out his iron bar. This was a treasure from heaven. I got it from a dragon king. He swung it around. Bam! The bar hit Dr. Odd's leg. Ouch! Dr. Odd fell to the ground. Wukong bit his lip. He quickly put the iron bar away. Roxy glared at Wukong. You need to learn how to be more careful. Roxy carried Dr. Odd back to his moon as Coslin and Wukong followed. Dr. Odd directed Roxy to a white room with medical equipment. This is my hospital. A robot helped Dr. Odd onto a table and then scanned his leg. The robot sighed. <sighs> I'm afraid it's broken. Later, everyone sat in Dr. Odd's computer room. His leg was in a cast. Wu Kong stared at the floor. I'm really sorry. Dr. Odd shrugged. I've made mistakes too. My medical robot said this should heal in a few weeks. It's not the end of the world. But Roxy was worried. We need you to turn off that energy shield, Dr. Odd. Otherwise, we can't stop Meltron. One of us can do it instead, Coslin said. Roxy shook her head. You and I have to fight the robots. Besides... She shot a look at Wukong. Somebody has a habit of causing trouble. We need to make sure he finds Meltron and gets the job done. Dr. Odd nodded. I might know someone. Coslin hurried out of the room. You really have changed, Dr. Odd. Roxy said. Dr. Odd chuckled. <laughs> I used to get angry at people all the time. But then you caught me, Mr. Presto, and Mrs. Wiggles and brought us to prison. I changed after reading a good self-help book there. It taught me to be a better person. Coslin came back into the room frowning. I reached out to everyone I know. Meltron's robots have taken over even more planets now. Nobody can come to help us.
Excellent!